Clocks and filters, who needs anything else? Let's use a Tempe channel to excite the QPOS. First thing I'm going to do is make sure the Tempe is outputting gates instead of triggers, because I'm going to use most of these channels to CV inputs, and I want them to toggle between values instead of just receiving instantaneous blips of modulation. In the case of the channel that is patched to the QPOS input, Note that it rings the QPOS on both gate high and gate low, making it operate functionally at twice its normal speed. Okay, let's do some modulation of radiate as well. I'm going to molt one of these channels in case I want to use it elsewhere later. Let's also modulate Q. This effectively switches us between ringing resonant pulses and short blips of the filter peaks. I can get a little more grit to this sound by patching the high pass output to the frequency input and attenuating it to taste. Basically a different flavor of feedback. We can choose between two and all four filter peaks. The left output contains all four unless I put a dummy cable in the right output. This effect, like most circular or feedback patching, can get extreme fast. Let's go ahead and use the last Tempe channels to the inputs. Now, I'd like to extend this patch sonically and rhythmically, so I'm going to use the Echophone for a little flavor. Let's use this multed Tempe channel to switch between short echo times for a zippering effect. Let's also shift some Tempe channels for a shift in rhythm. May as well clock Rene too while we're at it and get some slow variations in center cutoff. Different tempi states give us different flavors. And let's go ahead and switch that mod input to rodent mode so the shifting of tempi channels becomes unpredictable. Thank <laughs> you. 